What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of pond fishing. Hopefully we could get on a little topwater bite. We got a storm rolling in so I'm hoping that that low pressure gets these fish active and gets them wanting to get into like a little feed mode. Alright bird. So I mean we're at a pond right now. Right now. Decent. Awesome. There's something right down there. I don't know if that may have been a bass or something but I mean it looks freaking killer. I mean this place looks freaking juicy as can be but there's this pond there's a pond right up there and then there's another golf course pond right above that and we're gonna be uh giving it a shot seeing if we can get anything right now i have a little underspin on a little weedless underspin so i'm gonna be tossing that around a little bit maybe uh see if i can get any uh bedding bass i really need to get some polarized sunglasses because i struggle seeing anything it is very murky water, but I still think that we should be able to get a bite or two. Uh, we're starting to get a lot of moss growing. During the summer, when I've passed this before, this entire thing is just, the entire top is covered with muck. And I've fished during the summer here. I've never caught a fish, but I've had a couple fish blow up on my lures. And I was actually using a frog. There's a fish right there. I don't know what that was. I actually might throw a frog on right now. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a frog on right now. Screw that. Because there's too much uh there's too much muck in the water. I'm gonna hang up like crazy. So I'm gonna throw a frog on. Maybe even a buzz bait, some something top water. See if I can entice any of these fish. And if not, then I'm gonna be trying a trash master jig, weedless, paired up with a bile crow or a bandito bug or something. Just see what we could catch. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Today I stopped at Bass Pro and got the giveaway. So we're going to be doing that video pretty darn soon. So make sure to subscribe. You have to be a subscriber in order to win the giveaway. So make sure to click that. Click the like button. Let's get fishing. And there are some fish back here. I just don't know if they're bass or not. Because I'm seeing them swirl. I'm just not... I can't tell what they are. See, because there, there's a swirl right there. Gosh, what fish is that? I just can't see them. Ah, oh, I need polarized sunglasses so freaking bad. Gosh, that sucks. I'm gonna go over to the golf course pond real fast. See if I can do uh, anything there. Or see if I get kicked out right away. We're gonna go through this back area. It is very humid, a lot of growth. A lot of stuff but check this out look at that back there it looks crazy i mean if that doesn't look fishy i don't know what is i mean this is like florida it's like we're in florida i mean, just got to figure out a way down there see uh if we catch anything use this damn thing because there are rattlers everywhere here a bird was attacked here by a cat. That's awesome. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. I mean, this is freaking crazy. How freaking awesome does that look? Incredible. Let's get fishing. Gosh. All of this looks absolutely insane. Just spooked a bunch of like probably tadpoles, but is that a carp or a bass? Oh, that's a bass right there. Wow, that's a nice bass right there. There we go. That one. Oh my gosh, they're just not sticking. That bass came out of nowhere. I wasn't even aiming for that one. All right, let's try more of the finesse head. I'm surprised there's nothing in like any of these like sticks or anything. Oh, that's so much more finessey. They, they both went after it. It looks like it's already working a lot better. I wanna try to catch the one on the outside first. I don't like how that jolted. Oh, you straight up, it was just sitting there on the bottom and you picked it up. Oh, this finesse is a lot better. Oh, all right, guys, I, I think 
Oops, maybe, maybe if I could do this right. Oh man, it's another bass. That's a different bass. Let's see if I could get this bugger to hit. Oh my gosh, I think I foul hooked this bass. You gotta be kidding me. I did, I foul hooked this freaking bass. So I can't, I can't hook them normal, but I can foul hook them? That don't make no sense. That's some ridiculousness, let me tell you. It's a decent fish. How do, look at this. How's that possible? Like legitimately, how is that possible? All right, let's get a quick look at this fish and get him back in. I can't believe I foul hooked a freaking bass. That is ridiculous. Well, let's, uh, let's get him back in nice and carefully. I mean, I guess technically that's like catching a fish in a scent. But in my mind, it's not catching a fish. I can't believe I snagged a bass. I've never done that before. That's a first. See that, guys? I can't. I am struggling catching fish. I saw I foul hooked him, and I was like. I wasn't even excited. Like, it's nice to hold a fish, but it, it's nicer to hold a fish that you actually caught. You know? Guys, I got one. Gosh, it's just dead weight. Stay down. This this little guy. This, no, 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 no. Don't spit it. Don't spit it. Don't spit it. Don't spit it. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Oh my gosh. Thank God he didn't spit it. Look how he choked that guy's. Beautiful little bass. Look at those lateral lines. Freaking awesome colors. Just get them back in. There it goes. Perfect. And I believe that there's more because I got bit and then it uh it let go. And then unless it was the same fish, but I don't know. The first one felt a little weightier. And then that one hit it right after. So and that there was there's a five pounder roam in this area so we might might be able to hook up with a big fish i'm just so happy right there been struggling all day trying different ponds not catching anything oh my gosh oh my gosh there's a there's there's a bass out right there on a bed i don't even know where he went but that it's a decent sized bass bed right there That's the first bass that I've seen in, in this pond. Kind of walk with it. You can kind of troll it and just pop it along. So you cover a lot of ground. You cover that entire shallow bank. There's a tilapia nest. Oh, a little bass just shot out right here. Right underneath this cover. Oh my god, that's a big bass. Another big bass right in front of me. Got him. He ate it. He ate it. He ate it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Stay on. Come on, stay on. It's a big bass. Come on, hang in there, buddy. <laughs> oh my god look how he's hooked guys look how he's freaking hooked just barely i saw that big bass just sitting there check this fish out guys solid fish solid chunk this is looks like a female Let's see if he can get a picture real fast hey man can you uh take a quick picture real fast 
I saw, dude, they're just sitting right oh, underneath. Shit, man. Dude, they're just sitting right underneath. Um, thank you, bro. Yeah, of course. What's your name, by the way? Drew. Drew, I'm Aiden. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, dude, they're sitting like right on yeah. the inside. You see them shooting now. I let him eat it for a second just to make sure. And then once I didn't see my bait anymore, I was like, all right, he's got it. There we go. Got one. He thumped it. Another good one. Oh, come on. Oh my God, he freaking annihilated it, guys. I just want to see how big he is because, I mean, this feels a lot bigger than the last. Oh my God, I can't turn him around. I gotta get a look, gotta get a look. Oh my God, it's a damn catfish. That's why he thumped it. That's why it was such a heavy thump. That freaking guy annihilated it. Get a look. I want to try to get a look at him for you guys. Just in case. He pops off when I try to bring him up. Oh, my Ned rig fell out right there. You son of a... My Ned rig's literally right there. Oh, man. Alright, guys. This one is a lot more bulky. I'm not as confident with it. But, you know, we're still going to give it a shot. If I see a bass, I'll flip in front of it. See, see if he'll hit it. You got one? I was about to say, I'm surprised you haven't caught one out of there yet. Oh, that's a nice one right there. Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah, I just caught one a few minutes ago. Too. Yeah, they're usually stacked in there because they have a, there's a couple boulders right in there. Oh man, that, that fish has been fanning. Look at that. Ooh, look at that belly on that thing. That's crazy. Thing's been chewing. All right, guys, so we're done with today. Oh my gosh, it was a struggle. Uh, I do believe those first ponds that I went to, I think there's going to be some pretty good topwater action in there, especially during summer. Using frogs, using any, even a, a weightless Texas rig uh, Senko, I think that's going to shred them as well. So, I mean, there's going to be multiple options the later we move into spring and summer comes along we're gonna have some pretty good options at ponds and places to fish canals obviously and once all this stuff clears up well everything will get back to normal i i do want to buy a boat soon even if it's just a little john boat it'll allow me to get out on the water and uh hopefully catch more fish for you guys so you guys can enjoy my videos a bit more and uh ultimately just to try to have more fun uh because when I catch fish, I have more fun creating the content for you guys because I know you guys will enjoy it. When I have days like this, it's uh, kind of hard to enjoy the content, and I don't blame you guys. I mean, it's just the reality of fishing. It's going to be slow. You're going to have times where it sucks. At the end of the day, I missed three fish, four fish. I don't know. I missed so many damn fish today. It felt like yeah, I probably only missed two, but I felt like I missed a ton. Um, but got a decent fish solid like probably i'd say three and a half three pounder i'd say mine was and then um the subscriber hayden man he was using that little jerk bait he was catching like three pounders two pounders uh he caught that nice four pound i'd say it was three and a half four ish uh it was a really nice fish uh you could see the tail was all fanned out and just beat to crap so I mean, he caught a couple nice fish. I'm going to probably have to come back out and try a, a little jerk bit at some point in time. But, you know, I, I still had fun today making this video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry it wasn't the most fishy video um, out there. But I still like making videos for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy watching it. Please like. Please subscribe. Help me get to 400 subs. I need, I believe, 16 more subs to get to 400. And then help me boost up to 500 subs really really quickly because then that's when one of you lucky guys and girls will be able to win my first giveaway and every giveaway is going to probably be every 500 subs so just help me subscribe hit the bell notification hit the like button all that good blah blah stuff you know you guys hear everyone say that but i appreciate it so much we'll see you guys next time on southwest fishing